Okay, here's another BSA A65 that's come into Performance Classics with, um, I believe, a little bit of unpleasantness in the uh, oil, the gauze oil strainer pickup at the bottom of the engine. I think there's been uh, there's metal particles been seen in there. The owner tells me that the engine sounds okay and seems to run okay, but he'd like it checked out. So first things first, we've got the primary chain case cover off to check for the dreaded end float. And there is some, um, more than there should be, but nowhere near as much as some that I've come up against. Um, three thousandths of an inch is meant to be the maximum. <clears throat> this gauge I've got here is metric, but when the needle moves from one number to the next, that's uh, 0 0.1 of a millimetre or the equivalent of four thousandths of an inch. So we wouldn't really want the needle to move one division as three thousand is the maximum permissible. Well, we're getting very nearly two divisions there. We're certainly getting 0 0.6 of a millimetre. So, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 five of a millimetre which is six thousandths of an inch. We're actually getting a little bit over that. Two full divisions would equate to eight thousandths of an inch but we're definitely seeing at least six there which is twice as much as the uh, permissible maximum uh, that BSA recommend. Like I say it's not as bad as I've seen on some engines which have been running long enough to get up to nearly a millimetre and a half of end float but that's terrible you, do, you definitely do not want that um, so I think what we'll do next with this one is we'll get into the timing side and have a look what's in there whether we've got the plain bush or any kind of conversion for that bearing and whatever and uh, if there is a plain bush check for any up and down play in that and then that'll definitely lead to a decision as to whether this engine needs a full strip down or not I'm also going to rotate the crank backwards and forwards using the nut on the alternator rotor with the spark plugs out and check for any play on the big ends that I can find basically by turning the engine to top dead centre and then beyond to mid stroke and then we'll put something in through the spark plug hole and see if we can press the pistons down by any amount uh, we very often will if there's slack in the big ends, you will be able to push the pistons down that little bit further and hear a definite clunk. So we'll make a few checks like that and then we'll see whether we're going to be stripping the engine down and if so, how far. Um, but meanwhile, we'll have to go into it deeper, see what we got on the timing side. But that end float, like I say, is excessive really, even though it's not much over the maximum compared to some, so further investigation needed.